All right. I've gone through your computer's browser history, and you seem to have a type. So, yeah, those of you who watch me know already at this point, I said it so many times on camera that Improver is my favorite solo beatboxer of all time, which is kind of crazy because I know these videos are a little bit older, uh, you know, like a couple months old, not like super, super old by any means, but it's kind of crazy that he is my favorite um, beatboxer. Did I say Looper earlier? Jeez, I don't know where my brain's at, but um, yeah, he's my favorite beatboxer, but I'm only getting around to watching these videos here now. Yeah, it just goes to show like how much content there is out there. And, you know, like for someone like me who records most of the stuff that I watch, um, it's just impossible for me to get around to everything. But I am getting around to it now, uh, eventually. And yeah, like, what can I say? You know, continuing that kind of like online trend we've been seeing with these solo beatbox videos that I think people like Tara Stanton kind of put a staple in. Um, and Improver here is doing like very similar. Not as heavy on the effects. Obviously, there's some reverb, which is the most prominent kind of effect that he's using through this. Also, there was some cuts in the audio to kind of like enhance the impact of, of the moments in the routine itself. But yeah, as a cover of this song, I thought it was great. You know, the, the biggest standout for me is the pitching of, of the bass lines with the uh, the reverb effect added on top of it. it sounded really nice and added a, a lot to it, I think, for sure. But man, dude, Improver has just been like on a, on a tear lately, guys. And, you know, without spoiling anything like too crazy here um he's going to be attending grand beatbox battle very shortly as well so i'm really excited to see what he does here and also he just kind of came off a massive win in a competition so yeah super excited to see what he comes up with um in terms of live material but offline stuff he absolutely thrives too so like this is a prime example this is not the only kind of video he's done online with this kind of stuff um, this one is very, um, yeah, it's very like in his lane. This is very like bass heavy. There's not too much technicality going on here. This is like a pure musically oriented track with a low bass lines, right? 
um, just for the nature of the cover of the song, right? You don't want to, he didn't, tr he didn't really take the approach of um, making it too much into its own. Um, he stayed very, very faithful to the, uh, the cover itself. So respect to him for that. Um, I, I respect, honestly, I respect both kind of approaches, but his kind of approach is to stay very faithful to the original adaptation, right? So super, super sick stuff from Improver. Um, not really much else to say about this track. So yeah, let's just uh, move on to the next one. I like this backdrop, very subtle. Very effective. Was never gonna let you go, but every time we fell in, I will love you blame. It's not game over if I don't know that. Chains are down, and breath of light The chains of death will fall away And in the sun, I'll find my way No, that's too clean, bro. How? Yo. The way he's able to do, like, the percussion underneath that bass line makes me think that there's some copy and pasting going on here, which, like, honestly wouldn't surprise me just for the nature of these videos. Um, you know, full freedom of creativity. You're able to do whatever you want with it. But also, I know he can probably do that. Well, I, I know for sure he can do that live, too, right? Like, it's not, like, an incredible feat for someone of his level, but just, like, the cleanliness of the sound made me think it's possibly copy and paste um yeah the the um uh, the it was coming out way too clean underneath that baseline i think but um yeah it is what it is i noticed that this track doesn't say cover so if that's an original from improver that is fucking incredible like honestly bro like i've, I've watched him a lot i don't recognize this track i think this is the first time i'm hearing this one but just like the cleanliness of the song and just the whole vibe that i got from it like absolutely beautiful bro like for sure 100 percent. and yeah again if that's an original track massive massive respect to improver like that's really impressive stuff there for sure yeah i just think like ah oh, man just like how these how these guys are doing these tracks in, in an online setting you know we saw stuff like this for a long time you know this is not like original kind of concept you can even go back to the competitions like the kickback battle and the the beat um the BBU, the Beatbox Battle United stuff, right? Like that's that's kind of the era where these kind of like video concepts have really blown up. And now we're starting to see like artists, individual outside of competition kind of primarily uploading these style of solo beatbox videos on their channel. Like again, I mentioned in the previous one, like Terrace really kind of put a staple on that. Um, so yeah, I'm just like super, like super hyped for like solo beatboxers kind of like continue this trend. I, I want to see like a lot of other people kind of do this approach because, you know, for the most part, I want to say like when it comes to solo beatbox, a lot of it is just kind of revolved around competition and battle. Um, you know, people still upload solo content on their channels, but a lot of that stuff is just like wild cards, right? It's very raw in nature, which is, I can definitely respect, but, um, I like to see, them at the same time like take a more creative approach to their kind of content i think it really expresses like it really expresses them more as, as a 
as a beatboxer, right, as an artist. Like, I think this is a very good prime example of, like, what you can you can do when you kind of go down this road for solo beatboxing. Improver absolutely fucking killed it with this track. This one was, like, a journey, like, very encapsulating, um, like, a crazy screen presence for an online video, which is, like, is definitely what you'd want, for sure. And, yeah, I just think, like, everything about it, you know? like the pitch control again and just like the cleanliness of this of this track was absolutely crazy like i feel like the other like super massive black hole the cover that he did in the one we watched earlier just like the nature of the sounds is very like um aggressive and like grungy almost like a very um distorted kind of baseline that he was going for um you know aided by effects again but mostly just reverb it kind of like really added to that but just the texture of, of the bass he was doing in the super massive black hole was definitely a natural bass line that he can do. But it was intended to be that way. This one was very like the cleanliness of every, every single sound that you heard, like in the percussion and, and lows were super, super pronounced in this track uh, by design. So, um, yeah, again, if this was an original track by Improver, like mad respect, like sounded super, super good. Um, yeah, I, I'd love to see more stuff like this, which we have another cover we're going to watch here in a second is Creepin' by The Weeknd, which is a track that Terrace actually did. So this is going to be Improver's take on that track, which I'm kind of interested to see his take. Is he going to go down like the same kind of like sound design that uh, Terrace used, or is he going to kind of make it into his own a little bit? So yeah, let's just check it out. <laughs> said I saw you The person you were kissing wasn't me And I will never ask you I just kept it to myself I don't wanna If you pay me Keep it down the Cause my heart can't make it any if you creep, please don't let it show me. Oh, baby, I don't wanna. Not when I hold you When looking in your eyes I can believe And I don't need to know the truth But baby keep it to yourself I don't wanna If you play me Keep it on the Cause my heart can't make it any if you creep, please don't let it show me. Oh, baby, I don't wanna. Ah, oh my lord, that was so much better than I thought. It, like I knew it was gonna be good. Like obviously, the, I think like the track itself, like um, not the cover that Improver's doing, just like creeping by the weekend itself. It's a fucking incredible track. Um, I think it relies a lot though on vocals, and I obviously without without even like watching this, I already knew that Improver is definitely up to the task in that area. So I don't know. I feel like with creeping, there's a lot of potential. You can kind of have and take that track like we saw terrace's version um his his was a little i don't know i have to go back and listen to it actually 
Harris has um, definitely relied more uh, on, on the effects that he was using to kind of like really carry the way that he performed the track itself. Like, you know, he kind of like, in Terrace's version, he cut the audio and then used um, the reverb in a way to like really bring bring it back in an impactful way, the audio back in an impactful way. Improver didn't really do that. I think Improver relied more on his on the melodies, um, the way that he did the melodies, right? He, oh, man, oh, it's so crazy. Like the way he kind of started the melodies in the high, then he brought it down to the lows. Like the pitch control on that was fucking incredible. And I feel like, that in itself is very, very, very hard to do, especially in a live setting. So I feel like if he tried to do this in person, it definitely wouldn't sound that good just by nature because it is online. Um, we saw, we kind of seen this with people like, um, I think like, unfortunately, like I love, I love Den a lot. Like Den is super, super good. Den has a very similar kind of style where his kind of beatbox relies very, very heavily on pitch control. And as you can see, from Den, like from experience, you watch him do his beatbox online compared to doing it offline is very hard because um, when you're doing it in a live setting, right, you have that singular take to kind of to get it right, like you're doing it in person. Um, in a single take, at least in competition, right? Um, so yeah, I think like stuff like that is very hard to do. Um, I know Prover, Improver is capable of doing it. It's just um, when you get to see it, see them do it in an online setting when they have infinite amount of takes to get it right. This is the kind of product that you get, right? Like absolute perfect pitch control. And you know, the cleanliness again, like we said, or I said rather in the let you go track that he just did in the video before, like just uh, icing on the cake, like perfect pitch control with the cleanliness of the sounds, just absolutely crazy. I really like the kind of approach that Improver took here very melodic in nature uh you know still remaining pretty faithful to the original track but definitely taking more of a spin to make it into his own right um so i think that might be my favorite one out of all three that we watched here um that one was ah oh, dude just the melodies I, I i'm gonna listen to this one this one is going on my if he has that on spotify i'm gonna put it on the spotify playlist for sure it was that good Dude, this is why he's my favorite beatboxer, you know, um, usually like his traditional kind of style because he's more, um, he, he likes to compete a lot. So he has a more technical kind of side, um, for the most part, just because of how the battle kind of style develops in, in the modern day beatbox scene, mostly like hard hitting kind of like technical styles are more effective in the battle kind of scene so usually we see a lot more of that from him but he also has a very strong and prominent musically oriented kind of style on top of that that really complements that we saw more of the musically oriented style with all three of these tracks um but he also likes to incorporate deep like bass lines into his musical style as well so man that's uh that's fucking incredible genuinely bro so i don't really know what else to say but it, it's some of the best stuff i've seen from improver for sure um which i guess should be too surprising just because of the nature of these tracks and like how they're created and stuff it offers a lot more freedom of creativity and that's definitely what we got here so yeah i want to see more of this kind of stuff from improver like absolutely insane and yeah i'm really looking forward to seeing what he does for the gbb um, it's obviously going to be much different from this kind of content. Um, it'd be interesting to see if he tries to do one of these live on stage, um, which he's definitely capable of doing. It's just not going to sound uh, like it, did, it does in the online versions just because that's just how it is, right? Um, unless like you're doing like a wild card, which requires like raw audio only and no like editing whatsoever. Um, that's the only way you'll get close to um, mimicking stuff that you do online, but I like this as a, like a medium of its own because it definitely showcases what the beatboxer is capable of doing for sure. Um, but also allows you to add more onto it for like, you know, I guess entertainment purposes. And yeah, that's a uh, killer, killer tracks here from improver. So yeah, if you guys want to support improver, uh, links in the description to his channel, go leave it a sub, go leave a like on his videos as well. Link will be in the description to that. 
Um, if you want to support me, though, you can leave a like on this video. You can sub to my channel. Check out my Discord channel as well. Links in the description to that. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next Beatbox Reaction video.